Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest gruesome and grotesque video. Alright, let's go ahead and let's do another random entry here into this video series. As I mentioned in the past, I'm pretty much only going to do these whenever I see a news article, something trending within my news feed, because I read a lot of news on a daily basis there on my Google News app. If it merits showcasing whatever the tragic circumstance was, the unfortunate item here in this video series, then I'll showcase it. If it does then it'll be a while until the next one. So in this case, this was trending a couple of days back because of the very unusual, very unfortunate way that this woman went out, that this woman's death was caused. And it all had to do with a rooster that she owned there in her chicken coop. So it went viral for a couple of days. You might have read it, but if not, I'll showcase all the info that I can here. But it goes to show again that when it comes to anybody just having their final days, one never knows when something like this happens happens and regarding this unusual circumstance it makes it much much rarer too but it has to do with this it's involving the unfortunate death of a woman who was literally pecked to death by the rooster that she kept in her chicken coop so let's go ahead and let's talk about that here within this particular entry for starters thankfully the family has been able to keep most of the information of the poor woman uh, anonymous so there's no name associated with her there's no place as well in terms of a specific location where this occurred um, they've been able to keep all of this again just to create anonymity and then also for uh, protection for the for the family and then for also for the poor woman that was killed in this case but the way the story goes was this a couple of days back there in South Australia in a rural property there lived an elderly woman who ran a chicken coop there uh, the way I read the story, it made it sound like she was running it for a long, long time. This was probably something decade stuff, like when she was doing a routine, probably waking up every morning, going to the chicken coop, feeding the hens, collecting the eggs, that kind of stuff. So it made it seem like this was something that was just routine, ongoing, no different than from the next day. This particular day, though, she was getting up and she had a rooster there within her, her chicken coop, which is not uncommon. Roosters are there to provide, of course, uh, breeding for the next set of eggs. Uh, also, with regards to just being there for territorial purposes, since by their very nature, they're very protective. Um, I used to go around, grow around in an area where they were roosters. And then, yes, anything involving those creatures, uh, those animals, they will peck at anything. Like they'll, if they see you as a threat, they don't care how large you are they'll come at you and then so you got to make sure that you're very very careful in that regard but in this case she was there i'm sure she knew who the rooster was as well and the rooster came up and then started pecking at her now I don't know why she didn't pay too much attention to it. Maybe she was distracted. Maybe it just happened just like this, like it was that quick. Maybe she was um, not really concerned about what was going to occur. But the way the story goes, the rooster pecked at her lower left leg. And unfortunately, in her lower left leg, she actually had varicose veins. If you ever heard of varicose veins, um, um, it, they're a set of items that occur on the lower bodies in particular legs uh, tend to stand out especially it seems like women get them more than men do there's a set of veins that start popping out due to certain conditions so if someone is for example obese or if someone is elderly or if someone sits for prolonged periods of time uh, if someone doesn't do a lot of exercises that kind of stuff, then there's a set of veins that start getting, for lack of a better term, clogged. And when that happens, they start popping out more within the legs. Depending on circumstances, they'll either show up as regular vein looking stuff or they'll have a deeper coloration to them like a darker purple darker reddish coloration they'll even protrude out of the skin as well it just depends on the severity of it and then in some cases on those varico veins the people that have them have uh, painful experiences like they sting like they they itch um, any slight tapping on them anything that they bump into that happens to hit those varico veins is like a whole other set of, of pain um Luckily, in my case, uh, the, the, that's why, to me, the most important thing when it comes to health is managing uh, legs. I do a lot of leg exercises every day, 
practically I'm on the elliptical making sure that I'm doing a good rigorous workout on a daily basis and that's because I remember reading a while back the most common way of death when it comes to strokes which are the silent killers are anything involving those bubbles that come up from the veins in the legs and I work at a job that happens to involve me sitting most of the day so I want to balance things out make sure how important that is to, to, to know that I'm not going to have that issue later on so highly recommend it everyone if you have a chance when you're working out focus more on the legs because those can be literally lifesavers afterward well anyways back to the story here this chicken or this rooster pecked at her leg so again it, it was something where it just pecked at it and then suddenly it caused it to spurt open like in other words it caused the vein to pop open and then that's when it started bleeding somewhere along the way though she collapsed right there from the experience either the pain was so much or the bleeding happened to be so fast that she passed out but either way though she ended up falling right there and then the chicken or the I'm sorry the rooster just continued to peck after her you know afterward they were there uh, the rooster was protecting its territory it continued to see her as a threat even though that the rooster no doubt probably saw her day in day out they don't care. They're dumb animals. They're just there to fight. They're just there to feed. Uh, they're everything. You know? And so um, it's just a very simple animal. And so they're there to make sure that they have uh, any kind of territory protected. And that's what it did with this poor woman. So she collapsed. She later died from there. There were apparently other complications too that led to this. She had hypertension in terms of blood, you know, high blood pressure. She also had type 2 diabetes. So all these factors helped. But the main one though was the varicose veins. It just happened to peck right at the magic spot when it came to hitting that vein, causing it to burst and then having the blood come out and then just her dying from it afterward. Very, very unfortunate. All this stuff just happening. Imagine that living, working decades. I don't know how uh, exactly old she was. There was an article that was stating she was 76 years old, but there was another one that, that was stating that she was anonymous. So who knows? I'll, I'll go with that fact that maybe she was in the late 70s. So there she was working several decades doing this kind of work. And then lo and behold, something like this, a lethal injury caused by a very small animal, something that could be considered almost not a domestic animal, but the closest thing possible because of the, the way that the rooster and the hens are kept there within the cage, uh, within that coop, um, and then that caused her to eventually die. Um, there was a professor that was interviewed, a guy by the name of Roger Baird, for a lot of these articles that I was reading on this story, and he stated that actually it's a freak, as he quoted, is a freak incident, but it showcases two things. One, how small animals can truly have lethal attacks. In fact, he cited there was a California man that ended up dying because of another rooster uh, that had a knife within its leg. It was actually a bird that was involved in cockfighting. And then this bird for whatever, this rooster decided to attack this man. And then he ended up stabbing him, I guess, in the right place. Something involving like, again, maybe the neck, something else. And the man ended up dying from there. But that was one thing. The other thing the professor pointed out is with regards to the elderly, the risks that they have too when it comes to their conditions, the varicose veins bumping into things. He cited the fact that he um, hasn't been involved in stories where elderly ended up passing away some elderly people ended up passing away because of the cats they owned. Um, cats, of course, love cradling next to people's legs. If you walk across any kind of room, they're always there between the legs, uh, you know, bumping heads against the legs, rubbing against them. You have to be very careful. I know from experience because of my lovely tum tum, they do this out of affection, but you have to be careful where you step because if you step in the wrong place, that'll cause the cat to basically run out, squirm, you know, squeal, and it'll cause you to fall down. And when that happens, Happens. If you're elderly, then you're in a very bad position because you're not going to be able to react as quickly as possible, and then that's where it can cause harm. So those are the kind of and the stories, the incidences that this professor was involved. But that's pretty much it. That's all the info associated with this this poor woman pecked to death in this case by a rooster that she owned within the the hen house. But if anyone has any more information, anything else I might have missed, please post those comments below. Anybody there from that Australian area, maybe someone has more info on the local level as far as what occurred. Um, again, if you want to create, you know, 
keep things anonymous um, as far as the person's name it's probably it's a good idea please do so don't put any comments there like as far as who this person was the family members anything like that but if anyone has any more info associated to her like what she did or what her life was stuff like that it'll be a good way to commemorate it but the only other thing i could find associated with this is that all this death it occurred from these two small lacerations so somewhere along the way this rooster pecked once and then it pecked twice and it just happened to be right there on on, on the magic spots there regarding the varicose veins so truly truly an unfortunate set of circumstances but i can see why this went viral for at least a couple of days so all right everyone thanks again as always take care